Hello, my name is Aditya and I'm a student at the University of Maryland here with the Maryland Family Literacy Program. Today we're going to talk about informational books and storybooks. Learning to read both types of books can help readers learn different ways of understanding the world around us. These are our goals for today. Learning the characteristics of a storybook, learning the characteristics of an informational book, and learning how to identify a storybook versus an informational book. So we have two definitions for an informational book and a storybook. Informational books inform us about the facts, functions, or uses of an object or subject in real life. These books teach you about real events, people, or topics. For example, a book teaching you all about sharks is an information book. Storybooks tell a story through characters, and they usually have a beginning, middle, and end. Although these stories may not be real, the themes, lessons, and morals told in these stories can be applied to real life. The Cinderella story is an example of a storybook. Take a moment to look at some other characteristics of informational books and storybooks we've put in our chart. Now we're going to read two passages and decide if it is part of a story or an informational book. Our first passage. Once upon a time, there was a fairy named Alora. She loved to cast spells to connect with nature. Today, she talked to the flowers while she flew through the forest. Do you think this is part of a story book or an informational book? This will be part of a storybook. We know this because it uses made up characters like a fairy and it's meant to entertain but not inform readers. Our second passage. A cheetah is the fastest land animal in the world. It can run up to 80 miles per hour. Cheetahs live in grasslands, savannas, and mountains. Do you think this is part of a storybook or an informational book? This will be part of an informational book. We know this because it gives us facts, uses numbers to tell us more about the subject, and it's teaching the reader something about a specific topic, in this case, cheetahs. So what did we learn? The difference between stories and informational books. It, this is a very important concept that will help you appreciate different types of books. And it's really important to read different kinds of books, both stories and informational books so kids can develop new interests and learn a broader range of things. Knowing how to read these types of books also helps us understand the world in different ways. Thanks for watching, see you next time.